Good morning, Idaho. Yesterday, a hot one flirting with that 90 degree mark, and I'm sure you noticed it. It felt a whole lot more like summer than it did like spring, and we're still 11 days away from the first official day of summer. But we're starting out with really mild temperatures this morning again. 60 degrees in Boise currently in the low 60s in Ontario. Really comfortable. If you head out the door at this hour in the low end of the Treasure Valley, you may feel like you don't even need a jacket today. 52 degrees in Sun Valley, but take it up a few hundred feet, and we're looking at 33 degrees in Stanley Ketchum. So it does get very cold in the morning hours still for camping plans, so make sure you pay attention to that. The breeze is already picking up coming out of the northwest, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds, and that's kind of a similar story in the Magic Valley. Those winds die down the more east you get of the Twin Falls area, but you might feel the car blowing around a little bit if you're on your way from Boise into the Magic Valley this morning. Now, take a look at the wind forecast. We do see a very breezy day, for the most part, blasting out of the northwest, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour could be possible, but by by the time we hit tonight, 9:30, those winds start to die down. They stay fairly calm for tomorrow and even part of Thursday. But then Thursday, we turn that wind back on because of the changes that will roll through on Friday. And I mentioned sort of a significant cool down that's on the way for the end of the week and into the weekend. We'll get to those details coming up. Now, the changes that are rolling through today, not really bringing much in the way of cloud cover. A few high clouds. What I expect today, that high pressure is still in control of our weather and is keeping most of that storm track to the north of us. But we get a dip in the jet stream, as I mentioned. A short wave trough that moves through. It does bring a bit of cooling for today, also tomorrow, but then let's boost up the heat close to 90 again for Thursday and then get a big cool down heading into Friday, which could even mean some storms for the mountain areas. I'll show you that extended forecast, but let's focus on today. Quite a big difference from 89 yesterday. We're back into the low 80s, still above average, but that breeze might actually make it feel pretty refreshing. In the Magic Valley, same story here. Gusts in the afternoon could get up to 30, 35 miles per hour. So again, that could shake the car. A little bit. In the mountains, really pleasant. The Long Valley in those low 70s, low 80s for Riggins Council, and making it close to the 80 degree mark in Pine and Featherville Garden Valley. We take a look at the East Central Mountains that could get very locally breezy, especially in the Sun Valley area. Something to pay attention to for your plans, but I think again, it'll just feel really nice, like your own personal air conditioner if you're outside in the sun. Here's a look at my on your side extended forecast, and there you go. What a cool down. Thursday into Friday, Saturday, back into the 70s. A great Great day for Sunday, and then a warm up as we get closer to that start of summer. Spencer, Rachel, we're not going to have any any excuse.